Hello guys and welcome back to Code It All and today I have another project in mind for you guys and it's the advice app. So uh, it's going to be pretty simple. The layout and the styling is pretty uh, is going to be pretty simple but today's main focus is the JavaScript that we're going to be implementing and we're going to get all the uh, different pieces of advice from an API which is uh, api.advicelip.com and I'm going to be putting that link down in the description below. and. Uh, we have it's JSON API, it returns JSON from us, and this is the link that we can send a get request to to get random advice slips. Obviously, you can, uh, you know, uh, start uh, getting advice if you enter slip ID, you can implement a form, and whatever result you get from that, you can actually implement it there. That's also an option, but we're just going to be sticking to the random advice from for now. And let's get going. I don't know why I chose this weird colorful theme, but just I, I just felt like experimenting with something colorful. I might change it in the middle, but uh, for now, that's just the way we're going to be doing it. Now I'm just going to go index.js. Let's go exclamation point tab to give us all of this boilerplate that we have. That's Emmet at work right there. It generates short snippets of HTML and CSS for us. So, and then we can go. And I'll start with an H1 class of an H1 with a class of title to give us the heading. And just type random advice generator. And as you know, now I want to actually change the color to something nice. Like this. Seems pretty okay. Or maybe I'm gonna change it to hmm, let's see. Something like that. Pretty okay. And I'm just gonna go down and get a div with the class of advice slip. And we're gonna be putting in the HTML using our uh, using our JavaScript. In our JavaScript, we're gonna implement that. I'm gonna change this to random advice generator. Link our CSS, and then we can also link our script up here, and then add a defer to this index.js, and we can add a def defer to this to defer it. And uh, before I want to, before I start it, I want to just go live. It's gotta be somewhere down here. Let's go open with live server. Alt L O. Hmm? Oh, it's that's control Alt L O. And it's going live. It's apparently here. So this is the thing that we have as of now. And now we want to just go on to our JavaScript. Um, right now we're going to be selecting our advice slip. Const advice. I'm just going to call it advice area as equal to document query selector advice slip. Pretty simple. And now we want a function that runs and gets the advice for us. So we're going to start by calling up a function. Function get advice. And we're going to be using the fetch API here. So in case you haven't watched it, please do go. I have a five minute tutorial on the fetch API. It's going to be in the cards right now. And yeah, go ahead and watch that first. It's only five minutes. You're not going to be wasting too much of time. And you're not going to be wasting any time if you don't know. So let's go fetch. At least that's how I hope it's going to go. Let's go copy this URL. Put it in here. And uh, obviously this is an async. So, and we're doing this in the form of a promise. So response. And then we're going to go rest response.json. Because this is JSON code. And then we can go dot then. We can uh, go data. And we can, if you want, you can console log the data. We can run obviously get advice right here. And now we can go to our console, control shift I. Control shift I. So that's where it is. Why is it so small? Let me make it bigger for you guys. Drag it here. And you get an object which has a slip. Uh, uh, you get an object with a slip. And that's inside that slip, you have the advice and the ID. So what we want to do is we want to feed the uh, advice as well as the ID into our HTML. 
So what we're gonna be doing here is uh, we're gonna go hmm, advice area dot inner HTML equals so we're gonna put template literals. Uh, we're gonna use a template literal syntax as we also want to input stuff out of our slip. So I hope I'm doing this right. And now we're gonna go uh, saying. Wait, I need that dollar and then now that thing, which says I want data dot slip dot id, and then I want the dot. For that, I actually want a span tag, span class. ID span and copy this code, put it back in here. And I want a H2 class advice. Close the H2 and go data dot slip uh, advice. It's perfect. Save that, and you should see the advice. Yep, perfect. So you get a span, which is 27, and then you get a H2 with your thing. So if you ever can re-render this, you get a different, uh, you get a different quote with the ID and that. So dun 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 dun. It goes forever. So um, we can close this API. We don't need it anymore. And now it's all about the styling. So I want to go select the background image. We can go on. Flash. I'll do that a little later. Right now, I just want to start aligning the stuff. I don't need the console anymore. Go back here. Start. Go box sizing. I don't know why I can't type today. Time to change the theme again. So I'm gonna go into Monokai Pro. Seems better. Margin zero. Go padding. Adding zero. Get back to the body again. And now we want to have a background image. So let's get going with that. And we could also have a font. So I'm going to go to Google. Oh, yeah. I changed something on my computer. So I don't have that link popping up. Go to Google Fonts. And we want Poppins. Or I want Montserrat or Railway. Like really, it's pretty nice. I'm um, gonna select 400. Ah, uh, the italic one. I just want the 400. I want also the 600 and the 700. Yep, that's perfect. And I want to go embed it as an import. Go import this font. Bring it into our styles. Put it here. And I want to actually put this on the body. So font thing is railway. Don't want MS Paint. Come back here, paste this code, and you'll see the immediate change to our thing. All of the all of it is railway. So now we can go to unsplash and um an amazing place on splash. Amazing place to get images. And the image I want is something of the cityscape. Uh, something like this. Seems perfect. I'm gonna go save the image. Uh, no documents. I wanna go into my tutorials. Go projects. Advice app. And save it as an image. Yep. We should have that image down here. Hopefully we do, and we do. I want to delete that folder. Uh, so right now I'm going to go use a background image, and this is a really useful trick you need. Background color, I want it to be something dark. Okay. And I want a background image, so you know I don't want that. I, I don't want it to be displayed in its total bright brightness. I just want uh, it to be, you know, sort of, a, sort of, sort of darker. So I'm going to be showing that to you image.jpg and I think it's yeah I want, I want, I'm, I'm just gonna go like this background repeat no repeat background size cover I can't delete it so one sec 
turns out I had to move out my uh, this I my pausing icon and all of that uh, pausing icon and all of that to delete the download bar down here and now I want to make it darker but how do we do that we want to make background blend mode into multiply so that way we can actually blend our background color and our background image and make it one so you see it being this dark I don't want it to be or do I want it to be that dark so this is our text right here you want a text color to be white or maybe we can make it black okay I don't want to change it and I want to wrap all, and I want to make the advice slip advice slip I'm gonna get the background white. Yeah, something like that. And we can make the title white. I don't know what's wrong with me. Something like that. I don't want the background color, god damn it. I just want the color. Sorry about that. Just feel something's happening to me. And obviously I want to center it, so I'm gonna go center and empty to one. So I just I just was using Emmet to generate all this quickly. And I want to, I want a width of 50p and M auto. Pushes it to the center, and uh, we want. I want a little bit of padding, and border radius 0.25m. So much better. And we also want to center it. So I'm just gonna go. I need to display flex also to you know put it in one line, and I want justify. space around also something like that and uh, we could also align items to center them I mean center them vertically perfect so and I want to actually move it down a little bit margin dot of about five oh yeah I don't want to actually make it totally centered and we can refresh it and yeah perfect so our advice generator is working perfectly. I'll have the code pen link down in the description below. So you can copy all of the code while just chilling and eating popcorn while I'm teaching you. I'm not exactly teaching, I'm doing this tutorial for you, but it's fine. Uh, it, as you see, there's not much JavaScript, not much CSS, it's just a tiny bit of HTML as well. It's a pretty small project. You can incorporate this into huge, uh, bigger projects as this as this can't be ex this can't exactly be standalone. Oh whoops, what the heck did I just do? Let's save it get back here and that's it guys thank you thank you so much for watching have a great day and please do like share and subscribe if you enjoy this project and i'll see you soon